I'm Ariel, you're watching She Wants the Diction, and today we are getting rid of a fuckload of books. And by a fuckload of books, I mean um, all the books I got rid of when I organized my bookshelf like, yeah, literally half a year ago. The books from that were still sitting in my house because if that gives you an idea of like our time process, like how slowly that we accomplish and do things. <laughs> I think it does. It gives you a pretty clear picture. And then also, like, I recently went through my bookshelf and decided to get through, throw, basically get rid of every book that I felt like had the potential to make me mad. Or any book that I felt like was a story about, um, a group of, like, marginalized people or a specific cultural identity or something that was written by somebody that's not of that identity. So basically, this is stuff like white people writing books about Hawaiian people or white people writing about black people or black struggles, anything like that. Basically stuff that's not own voices because there's just, there actually are books out there being written by people who are authentic and understand what they're talking about. <laughs> so why would I waste my time on these books written by white people, no offense, <laughs> when I could just go straight to the source? Like now that I know that's a thing and like own voices books are a thing, like I'm not gonna waste my time money, energy, effort, just to get super mad over these books that I feel like are gonna be like really fucked up or like really bad portrayals. Like I'm just, I'm not doing it. Like I'm done. Like I gave however many years of my life to reading literature primarily written by white dudes. So fuck that. <laughs> Why is this turning into a rant? Why does everything turn into a rant with me? Every single thing. All I do is yell angrily. Not really. Passionately not angrily. So right now we're on our way to a book box uh, to try to get rid of a bunch of these books and the reason that I want to take them to a book box and not just donate them is that I guess I want I want people to have them for free and donating them back to like thrift stores or flea markets or whatever they're gonna charge for them. I mean even if the charge is low like I don't know I just want people to have access to them. It's like you know I got my use out of them and I'm not trying to like make them into a product for someone else to sell like I just want people regular people to be able to have them regardless of whether or not they have money so yeah that's why and it might take us a couple book boxes because like I don't know if you guys have ever been to these but they're usually pretty small and there's already like a bunch of shit in there so I'm not trying to like crowd them out just dump everything at one book box so this might actually be kind of like a task. <laughs> this is my quest. My quest to get rid of my fucking books. And this is kind of related, but eventually I want to get to the point where I don't, I don't have a whole bunch of unread books. Like I want to still have books, but not that many. Like only the ones that I feel like really made an impact or could have like, you know, rereading value, which I don't feel like is very many things. Like eventually I don't want to have like a lot of books so the first step is not holding on to stuff that's not particularly great like if it's not four stars or above I would not want to keep it for these purposes so like mediocre stuff shitty stuff <laughs> stuff that I bought three years ago and no longer interests me because there's a lot of that for some reason because I just used to buy every book that I saw all that kind of stuff can just be deposited someone else I want whoever could get value out of it or find something in it to have it rather than me where it's just gonna sit there rotting on the shelf. We're approaching the first box. <laughs> I need like a play-by-play. -play. We're turning right onto so-and-so street. Greenwood. This is so, literally just so suspenseful. It is on the left. <laughs> it's on the left. On Zoom. Left no, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna end up with like way too much footage. Is this even interesting? All right, we can't find it. <laughs> okay, so that was a <laughs> a big fat fail, really stupid. We drove all the way over here. Okay, we're using the map for little free libraries, like the official map where it's supposed to tell you where all the bookboxes are. Drove all the way over to one and we get here and it's not where it's supposed to be. So my thinking is that the map, they don't keep that map updated or, you know, it's just outdated, whatever. 
but I know for a fact there's a, like a lot of little free library like we run into them all the time in our neighborhood like neighborhoods so I know for a fact that like there's some out there and I think you have to pay to join the little free library network and actually be an official part of it so it makes sense why people would have like book boxes out in front of their house but they don't want to pay to be part of the little free library thing so you would only know about it if you just so happen to drive or walk past or live in that neighborhood so <laughs> we looked up a second one and then checked google maps and it's not there either so basically little free library um what's your deal <laughs> do you update this map do you care now we got to go to ones that we already know exist which is like a handful maybe student parking by permit only well i'm not a student so i don't need a permit right guys look we're at church LOL JK. <laughs> We're here. Hi, Adam. Real fans will recognize this. <laughs> I don't even know if you can tell what this box looked like from the video, honestly. Yeah, maybe once we and get up front. And also, it was before I even had like 20 subscribers or something. So <laughs> I know good and well, no one remembers this box. Here we are. It's looking a little skinny, y'all. Uh. I don't know if you can handle this book box. Oh shit! All right. I'm pretty full. Oh, it's turned into a children's. Ah! It's turned into a children's book box since the last time we were here. Fuck! I wait a minute. I might have a few kids' books. Okay. Dude, like only a few. Oh. Video okay, I don't have that many kids' books, but let's go back and get it, what we do have. Any book is a kids' book if they can read it. Oh, ain't that the truth? Mushroom! Stop. <laughs> Sorry, what? What were you saying? No, I don't want to say it now. You're busy. Why don't you zoom in on that trash while you're at it? <laughs> trash! Yeah, I'm trash, thank you. I'm using that clip. <laughs> trash. You're not trash. Book trash. Yes, I am. Right. Here's our problem. Not <laughs> and our messy ass car. Okay. It's a double layer it's, there. Yeah, it's it's thick. Three books. This is all we can get rid of because this is a fucking children's book box. But here you go. Enjoy, little children. That sounds pretty. <laughs> fucking assholes. At this rate, we're gonna be at it all day. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Yeah.